She was 22 years old, which already is exceptionally high. There was a lot going on in the run-up to her turning 23, which in cat years is 108 years old. I think because she's at that more fragile stage of her life, she wants to feel looked after and protected. She's my escape. But she is still sassy. What are you yelling at? I don't know whether it's because I'm not giving her attention or because I've not let her come closer to me. I'll turn and she's just literally giving me the death stare. I know. I know daddy's home. She wants to find me. She will just appear. <laughs> Someone knows it's dinner time. We've always had a really close bond where the journey started way back in 1999. As she's gotten older, I've noticed that she is much more dependent on me. When she had a stroke a few years ago and I was seeing how she was walking, I thought, this is it. She's not got long left. When I'm at home, I appreciate the time that I have with her because I know that nothing is endless. But she pushed through. She's just defied the odds. She still has the strength to jump up very high. She's still going, still strong, still full of life. She loves her life and just is determined to live it out as long as she can. She doesn't hold back. So as the birthday drew closer, we had to arrange balloons, her toys. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Queen Lily. Happy birthday to you. 23, I guess. Yay! The wonderful birthday. And then slept like a baby. Lily has shown me the true meaning of what it is to be a soulmate. Someone that is literally at your side till death do you part. She's been the best friend I could have ever asked for.